It's 4 a.m. and I am too excited to sleep. Tomorrow is my first official day as the boss of my new podcast company. You might wonder why someone with a good job, a wife, two kids, and a dancer's body would do something so risky. It's because I believe there's a place where I can tell the kind of stories I want to tell, where I can work with the kind of people I want to work with, and most of all, where no one, and I mean no one, can tell me what to do. Will you please shut up? Oh, sorry, honey. That's the person who was snoring earlier. Ow. Now, guys, this podcast about our lives only works if you ignore the microphone and just act like you'd normally act. I'm a governor. I'm a British person. Or do that. Everyone needs to be ready to walk out that door in five. Wait, you're taking us? I know you're used to Dad doing a lot more of these things because at his old job, he had more flexible hours and made good money and had great benefits and still decided to quit and thrust us into chaos. Come on back, baby. Welcome to the Nerd Factory. It's an incubator, babe. Everyone here has ideas they're developing. Those guys are designing a robot that rocks a baby to sleep. Heads up! Coming along, fellas. I believe in this company. That's why I'm putting everything I have into it. You don't have anything. Yeah, but it's all in there. Well, who's gonna watch the kids? What about Ben? I don't know. Where's the fire extinguisher? Under the sink. Where's the other fire extinguisher? Coat closet next to the broken vacuum. Okay, Soraya chokes on a grape. How do you do the Heimlich maneuver? <laughs> With the thumb side of my fist, I press against her abdomen and exert pressure until the grape is expelled. Wow. Is that right? What do I know? I'm not a paramedic. The company's going great. All we need is a name. Fire. Ooh, I like that. Like stories around the campfire. No, like the bacon's on fire. Yeah, I don't feel good. Your temperature is 135 degrees. I told you it was a doozy. I'm scared. We have so much writing on this. Our savings, this house, our careers. Maybe this is why you shouldn't start a company when you're a 37-year-old dad. Nobody thinks radio is cool, mm. but when you do it, it's amazing. What did I say? Exactly what I needed to hear. This is a completely normal workplace. Heads up! Kids, drum roll. When you put your heart and soul into something, it can be tough to release it into the world. And in the end, the people you love may make your life difficult. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. But today, I succeeded not in spite of my family, but because of them. Shh. Sorry, honey.